Hello, student. Welcome back in today's session. I am Professor Fayyaz Kavadi from Department of Mechanical Engineering. This is our module 1.4 type of chips. In this module, we are going to discuss what are the different types of chips formed during machining operation from theory of metal cutting, that is unit number one, for manufacturing process to subject. First of all, what, are, what is the mechanics of cutting with help of single point cutting tool? The unwanted material, which is removed from the workpiece to achieve the required size with help of single point cutting tool is known as chip. Chips are formed by shearing with help of single point cutting tool. As the cutting tool engages the workpiece, the material ahead of tool is sheared and deformed under tremendous pressure. As you can see in this image, this is tool which is moving towards the workpiece. And the motion of tool movement is from right to left. As this applies the force on the workpiece material or pressure on the workpiece material, the material is deformed and it is removing from the workpiece material in form of chip. As the tool advances, the segment closes to it, that is single point cutting tool, slips a finite distance relative to uncut material. When the tool advances to the next segment, the previously cut segment moves up to the tool face as a part of the chip. So let us see what are the different types of chip formed during the machining or cutting or shearing operation. So first is a continuous chips, second is discontinuous chips and third one is continuous chips with built up edges or BUE chips. These chips are formed during the machining processes on following factors. The first one is a workpiece material. The workpiece material or base material to be cut are broadly classified as whether it is a ductile material or ductile material or brittle material or some other material. Second one is a tool material. The tool are formed with different type of grades of material. That is a high speed steel or hardened steel. These are different type of material which is used for manufacturing the tool. So second point is the tool material. Third, speed of cutting. Cutting of tool, the material. That is a speed of cutting. Fourth one is a feed weight. The speed at which the tool advances towards the workpiece that is called as a feed. And the speed of that feed is nothing but feed weight. Cutting environment like temperature. Six one, friction between tool and workpiece. And last is a force or pressure involved in metal cutting. So let us see one by one, what is continuous chip? What is the special characteristic? How and how, how that continuous chip is formed? In this way, same for discontinuous chip and third, continuous chip with built up edges. So first one is a continuous chip. The continuous chip are the chips formed during machining without breakage or without segment. These chips are formed 
by the continuous plastic deformation of metal without fracture in front of the cutting edges you can see in the images both the image in front image in top image you can see the material is removing in form of chip but there is no breakage so when there is no breakage or without segment it is forming uh, so that chip you can see as a spring close point helical spring here in this image you can see the material which is removing from the single pawl cutting by the single point cutting tool from the workpiece material you can see that chip in form of spring like a spring you can see that chip so continuous chip you can see as a spring continuous chips are mainly formed during cutting of ductile material like mild steel aluminium and copper so what are the factors which are responsible for formation of continuous chips on which factor that continuous chip is formed so first is a material of workpiece when ductile material is used for cutting as a workpiece at that time continuous chip is formed second cutting speed when cutting speed is high at that time continuous chip is formed a weight angle is large when large weight angle is used of the tool at that time you will form uh, during cutting the continuous chips fifth one is a depth of cut when depth of cut should be small when depth of cut is small at that time continuous chip will form lubricants and coolants when you use lubricants and coolants uh, should be used if efficiently at that time the breakage you won't get the breakage of the uh, chip and at that time you will get continuous chips coefficient of friction the coefficient of pool material should be low and last one is a friction when the friction of chip on the tool face sh should be minimum at that time you will get continuous chips second one is a discontinuous chip if the chips during machining process is not continuous that is form with breakage or in small segments that chips are called as a discontinuous chips discontinuous chips are formed when brittle or hard metal like brass bronze and cast iron are used as a workpiece material in the image you can see the discontinuous chip or the chips with small segment so when the workpiece material is a brittle material at that time you will get discontinuous chip discontinuous chips are formed in ductile material also but when when the friction between tool and workpiece is high friction between tool and workpiece material is high at that time even the material is a ductile you will get the discontinuous chips discontinuous chip is not a good sign for machining of ductile material as it gives poor surface finish and machining process becomes slow machining process becomes slow so formation of discontinuous chips in ductile material is not expected during machining so the reasons of for forming the discontinuous chips are when the workpiece material is brittle like cast iron or bronze second cutting speed is low when the feed is large and chip is thick when the feed is large you are moving the uh, wheel of, of lathe machine or uh, to move the tool fast at that time the discontinuous chip will form and the thickness of that chip is more a wake angle when small wake angle is provided to the tool at that time discontinuous chip will form and when high friction force at the chip tool interface at that time discontinuous chips will form and when the large value of depth of cut when if you are removing the material with with short time at that time you will get the discontinuous chips 
and also you won't get the good surface finish on the workpiece material third one is a continuous chip with built up edge this type of chip is similar to continuous chip and it is it has a built up edge adjacent to the tool face you can see in the image the built up edge is forming on the chip on the chip this built up edges is formed and this is formed adjacent to the tool face exactly near to the tool face this is to tool face and it is not as smooth as continuous chip the basic difference in continuous chip and discontinuous chip that is not smooth and continuous chip is smooth okay now let us see how that built up edge is formed first when the excess of friction between chip tool interface take place when there are more friction between chip and tool interface at that time what happen due to the excess of friction high heat generation near the nose of the tool high heat generation due to friction high heat will gener generate uh, at the nose of the tool and due to the high heat the metal get welded due to high temperature near the nose of tool the material which is removing that is stick on the nose of the tool or that is get welded due to that high temperature which is created due to friction on the nose of tool and this forms the built up edge which is not required during cutting okay now the factors which are uh, which are responsible for uh, forming the built up edges when the material is ductile material the workpiece material is a ductile material at that time built up edge will form high friction exists near the face of the tool insufficient coolant and lubricants if coolant and lubricant is not seen, not used during cutting at that time built up edge may be form high temperature near the tool face while cutting obvious high temperature will form when you are not using any lubricant or coolant next one is the high value of feed rate low cutting speed and very small rake angle is provided to the tool material so at the end of this session student can understood uh, the different type of chips and reasons of formation of the chip so student uh, the question may ask in the examination like this what are the types of chip formation explain with figures second one the same question may ask in other wording as define built up edge with need sketch and explain the formation of built up edge or the same question may ask list the various type of chips formation during metal cutting so for all the question you have to write the same answer so thank you for watching this video